was Japan's most famous female Christian the daughter of its most famous trader? Hosa Caligracia was born in the latter half of the 16th century into a high-ranking samurai family. She got married around age 16, had five or six kids, and lived with her husband in the Osaka area. This may have been typical for someone of her status, but two key events ensured that she would be remembered in history. The first of these events was in 1587. In 1587, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, the second of Japan's three great unifiers, declared Christianity illegal. Gracia was not a Christian herself, but had a number of Christian friends. Upon hearing of the edict, she got herself baptized and remained devoted to the Christian faith for the rest of her life. The second event came a little over a decade later. In 1598, Hideyoshi died, setting into motion events where two men would eventually battle for control of the country. The first was Tokugawa Ieyasu, who was bat battling to establish his own family's legacy. The second man was Ishida Mitsunari, who was supposedly battling to maintain Hideyoshi's legacy. As Mitsunari controlled the Osaka area, this made Gracia a political pawn that he could use to recruit people that were close to her. When he attacked her house in effort to take her prisoner, Gracia knew that she could not be taken alive. Japanese tradition demanded that she commit suicide, but as a Christian that was prohibited to her. Instead, she stood behind a door and ordered one of her servants to run it through with a sword. The servant and her family then set the house on fire, taking all their own lives. As Mitsunari could not take Gracia alive, this hindered his recruitment efforts to bring people to his side and eventually is listed as one of the reasons for his downfall in the final battle against Ieyasu. But what about the traitor? Hosokawa was Gracia's married name. Her real name was Akechi Tama, and she was the daughter of Akechi Mitsuhide, the traitorous general who assassinated Oda Nobunaga, the first of Japan's three great unifiers. If you like Japanese history, please like, subscribe, and share my video, and please check out my links to see my books all set in medieval Japan. Thank you very much.